Flying my Erin Hub G30 beginner drone, just testing it out. Notice a doe in the field. She wasn't moving. She was kind of staying in one spot. Figured she had a fawn, so took the uh, drone up to take a closer look. Worked pretty well. Anyway, I'm going to get into all the features of this drone. All right, we got the Erin Hub beginner drone, the G30. Pretty simple. One battery, simple little system here. Um, as far as you know, claims or anything, you know, I, distance and quality, we're going to check all that out. You know, I'm going to say that this is a pretty simple setup. Uh, nothing, no frills, one battery. See how well that works. See how the quality is. There is no case. So most of these systems I've seen come with a case. This one does not. So we'll uh, see how that fits into things. You got uh, additional pieces of parts there, screwdriver, USB-C, cables. Um, the way this is set up, I would assume because I don't see any cable in there that this hooks up through Wi-Fi on your phone to connect to that, which I know some of them do, pretty simple. We'll check it all out. All right, real quick, show you how easy it is to get this thing up and running, unfold the arms, take off the camera protector, put it down, hit the button, hold the button down till it beeps. Now the controller, press, press again and hold. And we also need to get on the right Wi-Fi, which will be Popping up here, there it is, run hub, and that will be how we connect because it's Wi Fi. So there's no cables to connect or anything like that. Once that's done, I'm gonna go into my drones and start. As soon as we get a couple things, so you can see that we've got. Everything going there. What I'm going to do is go into settings, those three dots, make sure beginner mode is turned off. If beginner mode is on, it really limits the distance away, the altitude, so on and so forth. So I like to turn that off. And when you do that, you're going to have to make changes. I'm going to max out everything except return to home it is going to be 220 feet. Save. That's it. You can do a couple things as far as track your flights, image quality, what do you want to do, and other. So I like to have kind of crosshairs in my uh, viewfinder here. But uh, kind of neat what you can do there. All right, let's go fly. Clearly don't have any uh, GPS lock, but everything else is looking good. <clears throat> Got the Urin uh, Hub G30, and we're waiting for it to get GPS lock. Takes a little while at first, and we've got lock. <clears throat> got 10 satellites. I'm gonna do a couple things. Let's see. First, I want to do a nope. I want to do a compass calibration by no let's try this okay and we're gonna Okay, we're good. We've got everything calibrated. Let's take off and do some do some tests. Turn on the video. And just do a slow pan around. It's, it's doing pretty well. 
pretty slow. Stays in one spot pretty good. Here we're hands off. It's not bad, there's no wind. It's totally calm, so that helps. All right, we're gonna go up a little bit. I'm gonna make some adjustments to some of the settings. That all looks good. All right, let's do a GPS follow. Oh. So he just did that. He just kind of got a little further away from me. I'm going to get a little altitude while I do this and watch him track me. Uh, let me change the camera angle. There we go. It's just rotating around. It's doing a decent job, not a great job, but it's doing okay. Takes a little bit. <clears throat> We got some boys over here who want to check out the drone. We're going to stop that. We're going to do an image follow. Well, we're not going to do it. We're going to do a get over here, come down a little bit, and I'm going to do a circle around me. Let's do a rotate around a point of interest. Radius 16 feet. From right here, let's, let's give it a try, see what it does. It's going to go up a little bit. I'm going to change the camera angle. Not quite sure where it's going here. <laughs> okay, get some footage of this. And we're gonna stop. All right, so let's see what else we got. We've got a fly far away, which basically, let's try rock it up. It's just gonna go straight up. I can make some adjustments to the camera as it's going up. <clears throat> and it just goes straight up. And it stopped recording. I'm gonna now bring it back down. <clears throat> All right. Does that pretty good. Let's do a helix fly. It's gonna, let's do that. And we're recording. So it's gonna just go up and around. So you'll see. Let me make sure it clears those trees. GPS strength is still pretty good. And up. Let's go up to a little bit and then we're gonna do a little bit of a range test. Gonna get up to 300 feet and then kind of do a rotate. Just get some nice video. 
That's maxed out right there. It won't go any higher. There's no wind. So it's not too bad. Oh, I'm losing signal here a little bit. A little choppy. Whoa. Let's go forward a little bit and see how this works. Uh, 200, 300 feet. Still have foot footage, it's still working. 400 feet. 420 feet. That's it. I lost it. I don't know. Oh, no, I think. Well, Wi Fi signal at 500 feet. I'm going to hit return to home. Going home. And I'm going to get back into it. Try to get a connection. It's going to land over here where the boys are. <clears throat> Home is on that red square. Let's see how close it comes. If it starts landing in that puddle, I'll stop it. That's not too bad. Pretty good. So after reconnected, finally, um, decided to do a little bit more flying around. I had you know, enough battery to do so. Just flew around the school just to show the video. Yeah, it the video if you're standing still and going slow is fine. If you're moving fast or there's any wind at all, it's gonna bounce around. It doesn't have a three-axis gimbal. The color was fine, the lighting was fine. It, you know, from a perspective of who's this drone for and such, I would say that this is a beginner drone. You want to spend a couple hundred dollars on Amazon, get it on sale for less. You know, and have something that is, is safe. It's got good return to home capabilities, GPS capabilities. Has some fun features on circle around and so on and so forth. But it, it doesn't have distance. You know, it says it goes 500 meters. I couldn't get it close to that. Um, but, you know, the other features, it's very simple. It uses Wi-Fi to set up. So, you know, is this uh, an ideal beginner drone? I, I think it works well. You know, I wish it would fly a little further, if I were to say, and come with m multiple batteries. Those are the two things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description below. Thanks.